Ugh, man, I can't wait till I lift this small business thing. Let them open back up. I need a haircut. Hey everybody, uh, this is John from McMahon's Models and maybe you've picked up modeling through the pandemic, cooped up at home and you need something to do. So I started this channel to that we could learn things together. Um, I've been modeling for a few years, so I thought maybe you know we could build models together. And I'm going to be working on the 135th Tiger One from Tamiya, Tamiya, however you say it. It's the E, and I know what a lot of you modelers are thinking is not another Tiger model, but. You know, for those of you who just picked up the hobby, you've never built one before. I've never built one before. This will be my first one. So we're going to learn some things together and uh, we'll get started. Let's have some fun. <clears throat> okay, as you can see, I went ahead and cut them all out and trimmed them all and sanded them on. This is the jig. And you say, well, what's the big deal? They all look the same, but one set of tire, uh, wheels has two little notches here and then the other wheel matches those two notches. In here so you start with the one notch by the instructions and you have to have the smaller tab on the right side so Okay, I was just checking to see if you need to flip it <clears throat> for the other side, but I don't guess it matters. So that one goes first, then a two tab. Wait a minute, that ain't right. Oh yeah, yeah. Sorry. All the ones go first. Then the twos. That's right. Okay. says let me lift this up and look at something here okay This is extra thin and it dries really fast. Don't you know when you got it in place because it seats in there. Nope. Dang it. Can't believe I did that. 
got to keep doing the innermost ones first. There, see how it clicked down in there? I was thinking about painting all these individually and then putting them together, but they're still easy to get to, pretty much. So I decided to put them all together first. Okay, now with the top. I just thought of something. Barring up the wheels, the rubber on the wheels, could have done that ahead of time. But I didn't think of it until just now. I think we could still chip them up as we go. Maybe I'll do the next step that way. There. Then you lift it up and make sure they're all straight. Yep. Let them all dry. Hmm. Look good. I went ahead and cleaned the hull up last night for a Tamiya model. It was pretty, uh, pretty full flash. It must be a pretty old kit. Yeah, well, that says 1970. I don't know if that's the real year of the kit, but the molds and all. So I'll let this dry and when we come back hopefully we'll have them all together and I'll have a idea of what to do with here because I don't know if I want to paint this first in here and then put the wheels on or put them on and then just paint it all. But I'll look at it and try to make up my mind. Okay, I wanted to show you something on this part here. It's C13 and it has flash. See that all around the edge? There. 
inside of the hub there and around this ridge. That's when it was injected, the polystyrene injected into the mold, some of it squirted out of the mold seams. So you need to trim that off just with your Exacto blade. Just go over it real good and trim that off. It's really easy. Okay, for this next step, I wanted to change the view so you could see how this part's done. <clears throat> After you build them on the, the jig here, the template, This will be in here. We'll try it right here so you can see. And leave them on the template. they all stayed in <clears throat> so it never fails you practice something off camera a hundred times and then when you go to do it it messes up so got to keep the wheels in order Okay. Yeah. Let's do this. There we go. More than one way to skin a cat. And then you go and put these poly caps in the hubs. So just like that. And go down the line. <clears throat> but be careful these things. They're not polystyrene. They're just uh, poly caps. And they're a little bit different. <clears throat> and they are slick. And they'll shoot out of your hand and spend an hour looking for them so I'll go ahead and do all the polycaps and then move on to the next step <clears throat> <clears throat> 